Hey everyone, this is Redbeard again, of course, and showing you the brand new Ignite i18 module. And just kind of going through a quick little, little unboxing. We already unboxed it live, but I wanted to show you the, everything that's in here and just show you how quick, fast, and easy, and fun this thing is. Uh, and hopefully, if you guys haven't already ordered something or you don't have a firing system for your 4th of July, I highly recommend this. It's so easy to use and expandable. So you can get up to six modules for it, but even one will fire 18 cues, which is pretty amazing. So here we go. Here's the Ignite i18. Let me unbox this real quick. And I'm sure you guys have seen this. If you haven't, here it is. And what is it? It's, it is, a, of course, a firing module. And they have all sorts of great stuff in here. Uh, tech support, tell you about firework safety. Uh, how to get started, you're going to install the app, charge your battery, attach an antenna, pair of modules, test your range, and attach igniters, and you're ready to go. You can either do a free shoot or shows, and uh, we're going to do a free shoot attached to this video. So let me just show you a couple of things here. Beautiful sticker, a nice welcome, and there it is. She's under there. <laughs> so let's open this. Boom, check it out. Okay, I got a little dust on there already. I've opened it. <laughs> but it's so cool. It's so much fun to play with. So I'm just going to show you a little quick, quick deal of how to use this. The first step, you're going to install your app, which I did. I charged the battery. Simple to attach this to USB. You're going to go to the battery pack in the back. And you'll just attach this little plug to the end of this plug. Can you see all that? Cool. That goes on there and charge it. I don't remember how many hours it is, but it will tell you. You'll also notice a serial code, which will come in handy, I think, right about now. So let's check this out. I'm gonna put the antenna on the top. Real easy, there's 18 different plug receptacles there. I'm gonna to go to the app, which we already have loaded up for you, and we're gonna to go to the modules. Right now there's nothing paired, so I'm gonna add a module, and it's searching for something. It did find a module, module rather. Tap on the module to continue. I'm gonna hit it, and it's gonna connect. Let's see, device is not powered. <laughs> Turn it on, you guys, so there's a button on the top. Just hit the button. And I've paired it before, and I, I Unpaired it. Let's see what happens here. So I'm going to tap the module again. And here we go. So this is just like you will do when you buy yours. Uh, it's asking us for a four digit pin and we can scan. So I'm going to turn the module over. In the back, we've got 129L. Or if I do this right, I'll be able to scan it. Where is that? <laughs> My lighting is bad. There it is. Okay, so it's my lighting. Now it wants me to choose. It says pin match successful. It wants me to choose a color for the module. And in this case, let's just go with red. So I'll hit the red and you'll notice it immediately lit up red. Connecting, establishing timing, accuracy, connect, successful. It shows numbers. These are all the cues that are in the box right here. So now I'm going to, oops, I don't want to disconnect. What am I doing? I think I can go back here. I'm gonna go to my free shoot. And I have nothing connected here, so probably that would have been the point to connect things, because I did that last time. So, let's see, I'm gonna go back to the modules. <laughs> see, it's all about learning, but it's very simple, you guys. So we're gonna take one of the MJG quick plug igniters that I have here. And it's really simple. You're just gonna take the wire, face it upwards, and place that little igniter right in. As I plug it in, look at the phone here. It should get a signal, and there we go. Number one Q has a signal. Let's do another one, you guys. So simple. So I'm gonna take the igniter, put it in number two, push it in and I'm done. I don't have to play with little wires or clips or anything like that. And now we've got continuity for number two. And then I'm gonna skip one and we're actually gonna go to number six, just for giggles, because you can go out of sequence. So I plugged it in, really simple like that. And we're at number six. 
All right, the next step, I'm gonna go back to the phone. Uh, let's go to free shoot. And in this one, we're just gonna talk about, uh, we're actually gonna shoot a quick little show here. And you can scroll through and see all of the cues all the way through 18. And I have number six connected. I have number one and number two. Uh, I tried to fire number four before and there was nothing there. So I've actually armed, it was actually connected and ready to go. I believe once I select the number, then I push the button and it will fire. But I'm gonna wait and we're gonna do a few special items. All right, here we go. All right, before we go shoot the show, I actually want to show you really quickly how to script a show. It's so easy and it's a lot of fun. I've been playing with this for a little while here. So check it out. So we're going to choose create a show and you're going to give it a title. In this case, I'm going to give it 1812 Overture, but I'll put an O there and push create show. Does it have music? In this case, I do. Uh, over here, we've already loaded a bunch of songs. That was easy to do as well. So here is 1812 Overture Finale, and we're gonna select it. Simple as that. All right, looks like you don't have any events. So this is cool. If you know where to drop the cues, you can put them in just by pushing Add Time Event in the bottom. The other way to do it too is that as you're listening to the music like we're going to do, and I'm gonna hit this here, um, all you do is listen to the music go, and when you see where or hear what you want to add an event, you just click that button, and you'll see, notice at the top here, it's already put something in in about 15 seconds. Now we're gonna add another one too. This is a, a Zen Garden Fountain. Right, you can also adjust the time, so don't worry about that. I'll kind of show you that as well. We've got another one that's gonna go in shortly after this. I don't want you to sit, sit you through the whole music here. Okay, and there's another one, that's a third cue. And the final cue comes up here where you can see the bigger graphic. And then the final cue that we'll do, so that was the fourth cue rather, that's the final uh, cone fountain. And this is gonna be lightning sabers. All right, and that's the last one. I'm not gonna let you listen to the whole thing because we're, we're gonna play it for you and you'll see the whole show in action. But now the next thing that you do here, we've got all the events set here, but there are no cues lined up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the color of the module. In this case, we're using just one module in red and they're all gonna be red. So let's just go and fill those all in and make it really easy. Boom, just like that. So we have five cues now that are set up for the red module. What firework are we gonna use? Well, we can put names. I don't think you have to put a name there because it will fire those when we get there. But fortunate for us, <laughs> we already have these loaded in, in our library of fireworks. And I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna choose, first of all, I'm gonna choose the, the cue that I'm going to title. And I'm gonna come over here and choose Zen Garden. And it's got 20 second duration. Just so you know, you can either, you can go in and add one either from their library, or you can also add your own uh, with the duration videos and all kinds of stuff. But just for the time's sake right now, I'm just gonna show you how to grab it from a pre-existing one. Uh, Q2 is also Zen Garden. Guess what? Q3 is a Zen Garden as well. And the fourth one is gonna be, I call it Lightning Sabers, but it might be, let's see, it's up. Where is it? Uh, laser Sabers, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> so we're gonna choose Laser Sabers by Top Gun. That's a wonderful uh, silent fountain as well. And finally, we're gonna go back to the goodie, uh, Zen Garden. Now, what you'll see now at the bottom, after we put in all the names, you'll see them populate with their durations. And you'll notice here, there's a little gap and maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer for that to light. So I'm gonna click and just drag it over to change the timing of the queue. If you know what it is, you can go in and, and change it up here. You can change the time event to uh, tenths of a second if you really need. But at the bottom, I'm finding that this is pretty easy for me to, to uh, just kind of drag and bring it over to where it's gonna be. And that's as easy as that. I think I've explained everything. Now we're gonna go set up the show and shoot it for you. All right, you guys, we are set up now to fire this quick little 
show using the simple and fun <laughs> ignite system here it's all set to go um i've never done this before so i'm on show prep i think i'm gonna hit fire the show and we'll see it might go to the next screen so let's see what happens here and then we're ready to go let me turn the music up we're just gonna have the song come through this speaker that's on my phone so here i'm gonna hit fire the show and i think it preps us it's uploading the show oh and then i'm gonna get to start it when it's ready so I'm familiar with this. Okay, all modules are ready. Please start the show. Oh, <laughs> you guys ready? Here comes the dog. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, do you want modules to continue firing? Okay. That's fine. Here we go. Uh, we are five, four, three, two, one. Here it goes. Let you see what's happening here. It's about to fire. There you go. system.